Hey guys, what is going on? It's Jack and from Flight Tech. Hope you guys are all doing well. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're looking at the Samsung Galaxy S9 and the S9 Plus. So I got some hands-on time via Verizon in their new like smart home space, which is awesome, but I've been looking at the camera and the design and I have a couple thoughts on it, so let's get into it. Starting off with the box, it's really similar to last year. You're gonna get your cables, your AKG headphones, which are actually surprisingly good, the phone wrapped in some plastic, which is always satisfying. and some paperwork. It's not a ton of stuff, gets the job done, but when you actually get to the phone, it makes it all worth it. While the phone does kind of look similar to the Samsung Galaxy S8 of last year, there are a couple of design improvements. Starting off with the fingerprint sensor, instead of being placed next to the camera like the Note 8, it's now placed underneath, which makes it a lot easier to get to. It does feel a little bit small, maybe, but um, it is really easy and it's actually useful for pulling down the notification tray. Um, and it just works better and I think it looks a little cleaner too. I only got to look at the black models here But Samsung also came out with a purple color, which I think is a review unit that I'm getting So I'm excited to see what that looks like in person Other things about the phone is that the bigger version the plus is a 6.2 inch screen And it actually does feel pretty one-handable still because the bezels are so small I think that in terms of form factor the S9 regular version might be a little bit more comfortable but I would pick the S9 Plus over that for a couple of features. The first being the battery life. I've heard from a couple of other tech reviewers that the battery life on both phones is not ideal, but you are gonna get more power with the S9 Plus. It's just a bigger phone so it can house a bigger battery. And the second reason, and this is a main one, is that it has a second camera. So they both pack the same primary shooter, but the S9 Plus has a different secondary shooter so you can get some closer in shots. The one caveat with this is, unless the lighting conditions are good, it's not gonna actually use that. It's just gonna use a primary sensor so that is something to note it might not be um, a reason to buy the S9 Plus just for the camera because at times it only uses a primary anyways the main feature though the main like everything what Samsung is really trying to push us here is the camera but not the second camera the aperture this is a first smartphone with a variable aperture and props to Samsung's engineers because that's actually a huge feat in camera technology and smartphones it's amazing so at one uh, point it's f1.5 and then uh, it can also go to f2.4 so you use the f1.5 to get more light in the situation so it's good for low light basically aperture is like the pupil in your eye so what it allows you to do is get uh, more light in so it will open up wider when you need to get more light and it will close when there's a lot of light so having the ability to go from f1.5 to f2.4 depending on the lighting conditions is actually really awesome I didn't get to test the camera a ton I tested the video a little bit so I'm gonna insert that here here. Okay, so this is your first test on the Samsung Galaxy S9. This is with a primary shooter as a smaller S9, only has one camera, but the primary shooter is the same on the S9 Plus. This is the audio with the busy New York, um, and this is the lighting as well. There isn't a ton of light right now, but I think it's doing a really good job. But let me know what you think in the comments down below of this video. And then I also tested the photos a little bit and everything looked pretty impressive. The colors are pretty good, sharpness is definitely there. There's also something called AR emoji, an emoji, maybe, but it works pretty well and basically it creates like an emoji or like a bitmoji version of yourself that like will follow your movement. So it kind of combines bitmoji and an emoji from Apple um, and it works pretty well. I think that the AR emoji that I created for me looks kind of similar to me, so it was kind of cool to see. I don't know how much I'm going to use it, but I don't necessarily actually care that much that they copied Apple in the sense because Samsung users might have wanted that feature, but they wouldn't want to switch ecosystems. So I actually think that that's not necessarily a bad thing. Everyone copies each other to add new features to their device. So that's just kind of something that's in the industry. Another thing to note about the phones is that they still have the best screens on the market. They're so sharp, they're really bright, so you can easily view them outdoors. Um, and they just look amazing. They still pack uh, an aspect ratio that doesn't work with all videos, so you're gonna have that crop and feature again. I would prefer just to have those bezels back in black screen than having crop in and miss some of the image. But um, the screens are amazing, and for everyday use, I think you're gonna be really, really happy with them. In terms of the design, Design. It is the glass panels on the front and back again, so it is kind of a fingerprint magnet. Through this entire video, I had to keep wiping it off so I can get some clean shots for B-roll, but I think that the design looks really clean, it's refined, it's comfortable in the hand. 
Um, and worst case scenario, if you feel like the fingerprints are kind of annoying, you could put a skin or something on it, but they're not that slippery this year because of the curves on the edge. I feel like they were actually very grippable, although they did slip off of some surfaces, but they were not slippery in my hand, which is definitely a pro. Samsung software this year is also a little bit more refined. Every year they get better and better at making the software tone down. It feels really fast, there hasn't been any hiccups, so we'll obviously have to see how that holds up over time. But overall, it was very impressive. I think that the S9 and the S9 Plus, although not major upgrades over the S8 and the S8 Plus, are gonna be two of the best smartphones of the year. They pack amazing screens, phenomenal cameras, really good build quality. So for kind of the full package, obviously I'm gonna have to see if I stand by that in my review. So you're gonna wanna subscribe so you don't miss that. Let me know what else you wanna see covered on the Samsung Galaxy S9 and the S9 Plus. In the full review, let me know what other content you want. I'm gonna probably do a camera comparison between this and the iPhone 10, and then just this in general. But yeah, let me know in the comments down below. Thank you guys all so much for watching this video. Thank you to Verizon for having me out here, it meant a lot. Uh, you should subscribe right here so you don't miss anything else, and you should check out my other content right here. Thank you guys all so much for watching. Bye.